Lesson 7.7 Area and Mixed Numbers A unit tile is a square with side lengths of one unit. And the unit may be metric or in standard form. It may be a mixed number or a fraction. could even be a whole number. If we have a unit tile that is a half inch wide and a half inch in length, we have one half by one half. If it's one inch wide and one inch in length, it's one by one. And if it's four centimeters, it's four centimeters times four centimeters for the area. We can use a unit tile to find the area of a rectangle with fractional side lengths. We can cover the rectangle with fractional unit tiles and then multiply the number of tiles by the area of each tile to find the total area. We've learned before in fourth grade that we can find the area of a rectangle using the formula length times width. It's L times W. If this is six tiles and this is four tiles, we can do four times six or six times four and know that there's 24 square tiles here. If they're each one inch, it would be 24 square inches. We can use square tiles with side lengths that are unit fractions to find the area of a rectangle. First, we need to find the area of each unit tile. If this tile is one half inch measure this way and one half inch measure this way, well, it's a square and that means each side is one half inch. We would find one half times one half, its length times its width, to get the area of this little red square. And one half times one half is one fourth. That means the area of this little square, even though it measures one half this way and one half this way, its area is one fourth square inch. Each side is a half inch, but its area is one fourth square inch when we multiply the side times the side. And if we fit four of the little red squares here, that would be a half inch long, that would be a half inch long, and that would be a half inch, and that would be a half inch, and that would be one whole inch, and that would be one whole inch. We would need four squares to equal one square inch. Here we've got two and a half inches and one and a half inches. If each of these are one fourth inch square, we can fill this grid with these little one fourth inch square pieces. We know that the area for one little square is one fourth square inch, but this side up here is a half inch. That means we have a half inch and a half inch and a half inch and a half inch and a half inch. That's two and a half inches. And this way we have one and a half inches. We have a half and a half and a half. So we have one and a half inches times two and a half inches. We used 15 little squares that are each one fourth square inch. So we have 15 times one fourth. And that's equal to 15 fourths. Four goes into 15 three times and we have three left over. It's three and three fourths square inches. We covered the grid with the unit tiles, so there's no gaps or overlaps. We want to be very careful that we put one little square in each of the squares of the grid. Okay, see? So let's say that this orange square is a half inch on this side and a half inch on this side. We know length times width, one half times one half, will give us the area for this orange square. So the area for this orange square is one fourth square inch. Now let's say that this blue one is one fourth inch this way and one fourth inch this way. When we do one fourth times one fourth to find the area of the blue square, we find it's one sixteenth square inch. And we can cover the grid with these units. If each of the orange ones is one fourth square inch, we have four squares, orange ones, times their area of one fourth. Four times one is four, 
and we slide the denominator 4 over 4 fourths, that's equal to 1 square inch. So if this measures a half an inch and that measures a half an inch, its area is 1 fourth square inch, and 4 times 1 fourth would make 1 square inch for all four of these. This whole thing would be 1 square inch. Now using this little blue one, their 1 16th square inch area for each one of them, we can fill these little squares into this 4 by 4 grid right here. Both grids are the same size, but now we used 16 of these little blue ones. And they're each 1 16th square inch area. We have 16 of them. We do 16 times 1 16th. We get the same numerator and denominator. This is also equal to 1 square inch. So covering the grid with smaller tiles does not change the area. It just changes how many little squares we have. We can rewrite mixed numbers as fractions greater than one to find area. This side is one and a half inches. This side is one and three fourths inches. We need to multiply one and a half times one and three fourths. We learned in video 6.7 that we can take the whole number and multiply it to the denominator. One times two is two. Then we add the numerator. That's a three. We use that denominator. We have three halves. One and a half is equal to three halves. We can do that with this mixed number and this mixed number. We have three halves and one times four is four plus three is seven. We use that denominator. We have seven fourths. Now we can do three halves times seven fourths. We multiply the numerators going straight across. We get 21. We multiply the denominators straight across. We get an eight. We have 21 eighths. And that simplifies to 2 and 5 eighths. So we know the area for this rectangle would be 2 and 5 eighths square inches. Sometimes it's easier to multiply mixed numbers if we break them apart into whole numbers and fractions. We have 3 and a half times 1 and 1 fourth. We break the 3 and a half into a 3 plus a half. And the 1 and 1 fourth is broken into a 1 whole plus a 1 fourth. And we can multiply 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times a half is a half. 1 fourth times 3 is 3 fourths. And 1 fourth times 1 half is 1 eighth. We find the area of each section. Then we add the partial products to find the total area. We have a 3 plus a half plus a 3 fourths plus a 1 eighths for the total area. Now be very careful. Notice that when I broke this mixed number apart, I used a 3 plus a half. We don't multiply these. It's a 3 plus another half. So it's a 3 plus. And this is a 1 plus a 1 fourth. And we can add these using some mental math and a little common sense. We have 3 plus a half. Well, that's 3 and a half. We can set this aside and concentrate on these now. We have a 3 fourths plus 1 eighth. Well, 3 fourths as an equivalent fraction would be 6 eighths to have 8 as a denominator. We multiply the 4 times 2 to be 8. So we have to multiply the 3 times 2. It's a 6. Now we can add the 1 eighth. 6 eighths plus 1 eighth is 7 eighths. Now we need to add the 3 and a half and the 7 eighths. We need to give them a common denominator. And 1 half is the same thing as 4 eighths. So we add 3 and 4 eighths plus 7 eighths. We get 3 and 11 eighths. Well, that's equal to 3 plus an 8 eighths plus a 3 eighths. See the 8 and the 3 numerator? That makes the 11. We can pull this out as one whole. So we have 4 and 3 eighths square units. So just make sure that you put your fraction in simplest form. And you know it's in simplest form when 1 is the only common factor for the numerator and denominator. So we use the same formula, length times width, the L times W for length times width, to find the area of a rectangle, whether the side lengths are whole numbers, fractions, or mixed numbers. If they're whole numbers, we just do 2 times 3. 
If they're fractions, we do one fourth times two thirds. If they're mixed numbers, we do one and a half times one and a half. We'll get the area for the rectangle. Here we need to multiply five and one fourth times three and one third. We break the five and one fourth into a five plus a one fourth. We break the three and one third into a three plus a one third. We multiply three times five, which is 15. Three times one fourth, which is three fourths. One third times five, which is five thirds. And one third times one fourth, which is one twelfth. Now we add these partial products. We have a 15, a 3 fourths, a 5 third, and a 1 twelfth. And we don't need to put this as a mixed number. We could keep it as 5 thirds until we finish. We can use 12 as a common denominator for 4, 3, and 12. And 3 fourths is equal to 9 twelfths. 5 thirds is equal to 20 twelfths. And 1 twelfth is 1 twelfth. We add these twelfths. We have a 9 and a 1, that's 10, plus 20 more, that's 30, we have 30 twelfths. We bring down our whole number 15, we have 15 and 30 twelfths. And that's equal to a 15 plus a 12 twelfths as one whole, plus another 12 twelfths as one whole, plus a 6 twelfths. That gives us 17 and 6 twelfths, and we can simplify that to 17 and a half. It's 17 and a half square units. Our next lesson, 7.8, we're going to compare mixed numbers and factors and products. I hope I'll see you there. I hope you have a great day. Bye.